Hey guys, Bup Bup's back here on the Mumblecraft server, episode 4 today. We are going on an adventure. Our sugarcane farm has been pumping out the sugarcane while I've been chopping down some trees and planting a little spruce forest back there. Uh, and we should have enough sugarcane now. I've been making it into paper as it's going. And we got 20 more here. That should do us for a fully zoomed out map which is exactly what we need. So let's get this paper here. And now let's make up our compass. So we grab the compass here, we put that in the middle of some paper, and we end up with an empty map. So now we'll open the map up. And now we've got the uh, the base. Huh, a lot of gray around. I didn't realize we had so much stone. Nice. So we'll... Uh, put this into the crafting table and zoom out the map so this is just the base map now we got it out to level one of four so let's go out one more time now we've got it to two of four go another time got it to three of four and finally one more zoomed out now to four of four so now this should give us the maximum zoom which we are just a tiny little dot on the map now we are going to head into the ocean and try to explore as much of this map as we can, or at least get the outline of the coast uh, using the the boat and just traveling by ocean. So, of course, going on an adventure in Minecraft, you want to make sure that you bring as many boats as possible because we all know how well they last. So, let's plop right down into the ocean here. And I don't really... What direction does this even go in? So, we're mostly going to be going south of the creeper over there. Let's try to avoid him. The one hard part of using the maps, of course, is that they take up most of your screen when you're looking at them. So you really can't see what you're going for. But anyways, let's head into the boat and see where we get. So we've come across a swamp area and some pumpkins. I uh, picked up some of those, of course. We'll get a pumpkin farm going. And so sort of as we discover stuff, we're just going to grab it up and keep going. Hoping to find a desert here and probably like a roof forest get some dark oak and some of the other trees going uh, and a jungle would be awesome if we could find that uh, I was gonna try to do a little bit more recording of the journey but boats are really really tough you just keep rubber banding on the server and uh, really wouldn't make for a good video so when we get it to some highlights we'll just uh, cut in for those oh I thought that was gonna be a desert we were coming up on but it looks like it's just more snowy mountains so pressing onward Looks like we've come up on a nice little ocean monument temple here. Uh, that'll be some fun to explore. I know these things are pretty awesome, so not too far from home, really. Uh, definitely a cool find and something that we will see a lot more of coming up. Okay, we've made it back home. Sadly, we have not explored as much as I would have liked. Uh, the server is a bit laggy, a lot of rubber banding on the boat, and it's really, I mean, it's now the next day. We sort of took off in the middle of the day, sailed through the night, and now we're on the next day, and that's as much as we explored. Uh, so I guess we're just going to do it on foot. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of ocean anyways, so we'll just do the exploring on foot. Why not? a cool area look at this it's like a little hollowed out valley bowl thing this is awesome definitely gonna have to come back here we're a bit away from home but not too much I don't know I have so many ideas running through my head of cool things you could do with this definitely we'll be back here yep but continuing onward
so we've run up on a villager village. That was nice to explore. Hopefully uh, there's something here for us. It looks like an awfully small one, so I'm not sure. It'd be nice to get potatoes since all we have are carrots. And maybe raid their chests, because hey, hopefully they have something good for us. Doesn't look like there's too much going on in this village, though. A couple of villagers, and they're they're way too far from home for us to try to get these back uh, into our area. So hopefully we run up on another village that's closer, because this one would not be easy. Doesn't even look like these guys have any chests or anything in here. Is this the same home we already got into? I can't tell. There's got to be something somewhere. That's the one. There's nothing. It's like an empty village. They don't even have a farm. These poor guys. That skeleton's probably going to kill them all. Well, looks like that was a disappointing village. So, let's continue onward. most of the map and really we live on a boring continent there's not much good out there I didn't even find any dark oak never mind a desert or a mesa or even ice plains I mean there's a good amount of snow out there but no ice spikes and we're just about home now so there's just the left side of the map left to explore I guess we can hope for something over there that might be interesting and provide us some blocks to build with. Otherwise, we're going to be uh, looking pretty bland for a while, but we'll still make the best of that anyways. But I guess let's uh, press on to check in the left side of the map and keep our fingers crossed, huh? I've finished exploring, and it's just more of the same. No sand yet, so... Uh, I guess to finish this episode, we're going to build something else we need, a tree farm. We're going to be using a bunch of wood, and I guess really the easiest way to collect it is to just have a tree farm that you can use. So we're going to dig this out here, I'm going to do uh, 10 by 10. So we'll do a, a 10 by 10 tree farm, and that'll give us... Uh, the wood that we need when we need it. The way I like to do this is just sort of dig this down here a little bit, uh, put the rail cart, a uh, hopper or mine cart underneath uh, where the trees grow so then you can just chop them down. The hopper mine cart will be running underneath and just pick them right up and then deposit them into a chest for us. It'll get all the saplings once we're done getting the wood and if we miss any of the wood that falls on the ground it'll pick it up so we don't have to run around afterwards. Uh, how big did we go here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I guess it'll be ten by eleven. That's fine. There's no specific size it has to be, and we'll probably end up digging this out even more. 
but we're kind of limited right now by how many of the powered rails that we have. Um, so this is, you know, roughly a, a good size for it. And then somewhere down the middle here, we'll just dig this out so we can put our torches to run the power rails. Um, you know, we could actually probably go bigger than this. Because uh, we've got 24 powered rails. If we go right down the middle, maybe down the middle is probably not the best way to do it, actually. Let's go uh, towards either edge. I Normally, I would like to do this with all powered rails, except, of course, for the corner pieces. But um, we don't have that kind of gold right now. So that's not something that we can do. Um, but splitting it up so there's two rails in between, I mean, it shouldn't get stuck. Wow, that's not where I wanted those. Uh, and we can always dig down. I mean, it's only one layer underground. If if the minecart gets stuck, then uh, so be it. Is that all? Okay. Well, torches are easy to come by, so that's not a problem. All right. Um, we should have gone down one more. Wow. Wow. Don't mind me. And our spoon is going to break. Lovely. Okay. So let's throw these guys down here. Get up. And let's put a power rail so we don't forget where those are now that they're buried. So I'll just uh, build this out quick. So we're going to have a. Obviously, these are going to auto collect the drops. And then we're also going to have um, sort of an auto minecart unloader that's going to go right into the chest. And then it's gonna, it's actually gonna go into uh, some droppers, and then the droppers will just spit it uphill uh, into the chest, because obviously these are gonna be underground, the minecart's underground, and we just want convenience and something kind of cool, so why not? So I'm just gonna build this out here, and again with that. Um, so now we have to do this. And we'll build sort of the unloading section coming up here in a second. Uh, you know, I don't know what end it's going to be on yet or anything, but actually let's go uphill with that so these don't intersect. I hope, yeah, I think I have another stack of regular rails too, but that might not be enough, actually. So let's see. I do have plenty of iron to be able to get this built. So that won't be a problem. It's more the gold that I was worried about. And I don't think we're going to have enough of the power rails to do this entire thing right now. Uh, but actually, I can sort of alternate. Because it's going to come around the corner. It doesn't need another boost. So let's do that instead. Sort of save some of these rails here. Um, and just as we get more. Hello, Mr. Sheep. Doing a little dance for us. Excellent. Uh, as we get more powered rails, we will uh, add on to it. So it's going to go there and there. Uh, I should have assumed that would happen. And then night is coming. But, oh well. We will build through the night like brave soldiers. Why do I keep doing that? It's because they're not on the same side. That's why. Because this one's right off the corner. And then the other one is a little further. That one we don't want powered. Yes, we do. So we could go a little bit further, I guess. Um, but, you know, this is going to be enough for now. This one here we want to be powered because it's going to be the end. So let's just put a redstone torch down there. Obviously, the last one has to be powered, so it hits it, and then it bounces back. So that's what we're going to do here. And then we'll build the unloader. It's going to go down instead. It's not going to come up. Um, so actually, let maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, we, yeah. there's going to be creepers and creepers on railroad tracks that are on dirt and redstone. Let's just tuck in for the night, and we will uh, resume in the morning. So I will, uh, I'll go mining up some more resources overnight, and I'll see you in the morning. 
All right, it's still nighttime, but there's really not much spawning around here, so let's just get going, huh? Um, so I'm gonna dig out a little area here. This is gonna sort of go downhill um, into our unloader. So that's where we will put. I don't have the hopper, so we'll just steal it off of here. Oh goodness! All right. And as I say it, here comes the monster. That's all right. He'll add a little adventure to this. As long as it's not a creeper, that would uh, that would ruin the day. All right, so we've got the hopper here, and then we're going to pull a signal out of the hopper with our trusty comparator. So now the minecart's going to come over this. We need that to be a power rail. The block on top. So the minecart will come over there. It'll suck it out, which will give this a signal uh, when there's something in it. So it's just... Um, throw some seeds in there. So the comparator now has a signal. And from there, it'll power that, which powers the block and powers the minecart. Right? Yes. So as simple as that. When there's something in here, no, we need to invert it. Ha! Of course. Uh, so what we can do is use a torch. So now when there's something in here, it'll come down. It'll suck that out. Um, oh, the dirt block did go in there. That's the problem. So then, put that on there. Will just a piece of redstone do this? Oh, redstone on camera. Okay. Yep. So now something when there's something in the hopper, when it's picked up some wood, it'll come down here. The hopper sucks it out instantly which will shut that off. So as long as something's in this hopper, it's going to be shut off. Of course, this hopper is going to spit into something else here, which we will, uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll go off this way. So this hopper is going to, that's going to end up being uh, a dropper. So let's just flip this around here. Put that back on top. And we'll pretend that's a dropper. So now something gets into here, unloads from the minecart into that hopper, goes into here. Up here we'll make a small, just a short item elevator, just a couple of hoppers um, to sort of dispense it uphill to a chest that's going to be sitting on the surface. So that's pretty much how this is going to work. Uh, just need to cover up all of this with dirt and um, put the hoppers in. So let me cover this up and grab the hoppers and then we'll wire up the hopper thing and we'll put the chest on top. And that'll pretty much be it. So uh, let me just cover this with dirt. It's going to take a minute. Be right back. Okay, we've got all this covered here. We've got the uh, droppers here. So let's get this going. We're going to pull this out a little more. I left some room here for the redstone. Um, but we want to pull this out one block further so the redstone signals don't interact. It'll just make it a little bit easier on the building of the redstone. So we're going to pop this up here and then our chest is just going to sit right on the surface. Uh, so we'll top down in here. I think we'll need to get a little bit more room for us to work with. So now when something is pulled out of the hopper minecart into the hoppers, it's going to push into here. Pull a signal out of here with the comparator. Um, then repeater to strengthen it and then pull it back around and this will make a clock let's throw some stuff in here 13 seeds that's what we've got so let's throw that in there so this will make a little clock here and um, then we'll just push it into a block with a torch tower on top um, so just that there and there hmm, it's an odd number well we'll have a redstone torch on the top oh well so now, let's retrieve all of our seeds. There's going to be some, not loss, um, because nothing is going to get lost. They're going to stay inside the droppers here, but we're not going to get 100% of it into the chest, uh, just because we don't have a burnout clock here. But, I mean, we're just collecting wooden saplings, and we're going to be using this a lot. If a couple pieces of wood get left behind, it's not a big deal. 
So we put 13 in here. Uh, let's see how many we get up into the chest. We get seven. So that's fine. We get five or six that are always going to come in. Is this interacting? Is that why that happened? It looked like one spit up when this came back. None of this should be interacting because we have a block gap between it, but but who knows? Who knows? Anyway, so we're going to always get like five or so pieces of stuff left behind, but uh, you know, it doesn't matter. We're just dealing with wood, not precious treasures here. So that's going to do it for this. Let's just cover this up and make it sort of look flush. I probably should have used some stone and stuff to reinforce this. Um, just to keep the keep it a little bit safe from the creepers. But I'll probably end up putting a fence around this uh, for us to use it. I didn't bring any saplings out here for us to plant. I'll probably put a fence around this area just to sort of keep the creepers away and nothing blow it up because, you know, redstone blows up pretty easily. Uh, but that does it for our tree farm. I'll plant some trees on here and we'll... Uh, We'll be using it in every episode coming up because wood is important. We're going to use a lot of wood in the biodome for the floors and all that stuff. Uh, so this thing is definitely a good thing to get started. I'm going to do a lot more exploring. I'm going to find out where all the resources are we need. And uh, we'll be able to do a lot more once that's happened. Probably expand the map wall that we've got inside the house just uh, to actually get some stuff. I expected there to be more on the map from the continent we're on, but there is just not. And what are you going to do? That's Minecraft. It's playing the odds so uh thanks everyone for watching though it's been a good time here today and i look forward to many more episodes coming up on the mumbo craft but this has been bup and i'm out of here